a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Howdy viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is kind of a treasure hunt video. It actually is a treasure hunt video. And it's Landmarks of the Riches. You have to follow a series of sketches throughout the Red Dead Redemption 2 countryside and locate these places where they have other sketches and they lead you ultimately to the big reward which is six gold bars that's three thousand dollars so yes there is money out there now before I show you the whole trail of how shall I say areas you have to find the first one I'm going to show you is the location of the mysterious hill house and that is one of the locations you will have to search when you are looking for the landmark of the riches We'll be coming back to this location once we start the whole landmark of the riches. Now, I'm going to show you the first location, which is an obelisk to the very, very far west of the map. Easy now. After you find this obelisk, you, you can walk up to the face plate and you want to inspect it. And inside of it, you're going to find an image, Landmark of the Riches, or Landmarks of the Riches. It's the first technically map. And if you look at the map, and you open it up, it shows a little church with the hand of God reaching toward the bell. Well... This church is known outside of St. Denis, so yeah, we can get there. But the map is found in the obelisk right here, where I'm showing you where the player is. And if you go back, it's really by the far west of West Elizabeth, by Lake Oangela. And you look here by the trapper, if you go two dots down, a curve two more dots, another curve, this is where the obelisk is going to be exactly at this area. And then you can find the map and begin the treasure hunt. The next will be the church outside, you know, the mini church outside of St. Denis. There we go. Once you pull the map out of the church bell, you can take a look at it. And it's going to show a turtle with a broken side. This is actually the mysterious 
hill house that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And we can return back to that and get the next map, so to speak, or should we say picture. The picture is a little deceptive, but you come over here to this side of the house and reach in and you find the other image that you need to look at. And Landmark of the Riches, Treasure, again inspect the document and take a look. It shows a cannon that transforms into a tree and it's firing at the tree. And this is by Bolger, um, I always get it wrong, Bolger Glen or whatever it is. Yeah, that is our next location that we have to get to. Now this is the location, and so I'm going to explain the picture. It's a cannon tree, and it's pointing at another tree. And if you stop flipping the thing around and take a look at the map, there's this cannon located at Bolger Blade. And yeah, that's the cannon. This is the tree. And then you go to the tree on top of the mound and you will find the next map. The next picture is of a sun rising over a mountain with a sundial pointing to a seven. And that is actually on Mount Shana, Shana, but at Bolger Blade here, where the player is, this is the location of the actual um, tree trunk that you are looking for. So on to Mount Shana and the final location. Easy. The largest cluster of stones which Arthur is standing on is where the final treasure is located. And it is six gold bars, which is really $3,000, a lot of money. And this sundial is something you see when you're riding through, and it's on top of Mount Shana. And yep, six gold bars. That is awesome. And, yeah, you look at it, sundial, 7 o'clock, 
it kind of works out. But if you look on the map, this is exactly where it is below the S, and it's on Mount Shan. And there's a lot on Mount Shan, and it's in the Big Valley area of West Elizabeth. And if you look at it, it's not too far from the original point. So now I'm done with this quest. And I hope this helped you out. I'm going to get Arthur back to Strawberry. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some specials and some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. Yeah, I'm going to show you right here again. And you pull back, and you look at the obelisk location. It's not too far from it. And, yeah, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.